Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I just want to give you a quick update on my DIY CNC router or mill or whatever, CNC machine. So what happened? I broke it. It all started with me setting up my tool depth too deep so that the router would be touching the top of the, of the model. So I'm going to try and give you a little visual representation of what happened. So the machine was cutting and like you set it up for the tool holder. It was giving step over and it was keep, uh, keep going down until it reached somewhere here where this, where the router itself was. And it was rubbing on the top of the part. So I stopped it because it was not going to work anyway. So I stopped the program and I adjusted my tool pass. So I adjusted the bottom height a little bit higher so that it wouldn't go this deep for the next uh, iteration. And uh, I decided not to wait for it to cut all this air until it reaches to the bottom layer. So I decided to skip 150,000 lines of code and I guess I didn't put it in the right spot and the machine went down right away and cut in here. It broke the bit. This is a new bit actually. It broke the old bit and then it put so much force on both screws that now they're making noise. I don't know, there are probably little balls in there got flat on them or whatever the reason is. Now they're making noise. And it actually bent the shaft of the router. So it rotates and then it gets stuck at some point. Yeah. So the course of action I have ordered a new spindle. I'm going to have actual spindle. I ordered a 7.5 kilowatt uh, air-cooled spindle with VFD for it, uh, vector drive VFD. I ordered uh, 20 millimeter ball screws instead of 16 millimeter ball screws. I ordered 20, 10, 10 millimeter per step so that they wouldn't uh, spin that fast to achieve greater travel speeds. And uh, once everything comes in, I'm going to keep you updated. So if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. Have a good day. Bye.